Hello, my name is Douglas Hoagland, or Top Hat Waffle. I am trying to get better at Fusion 360, so I'm challenging myself by just helping out wherever possible on weird issues that people have. I came across this non-uniform bevel question, where we want this hard edge um, along this curvature uh, with these other yellow and orangish lines uh, coming across. So I've ended up loosely recreating the body uh, from that Reddit post and this sketch profile that's going to go all the way to the end here. Let's pop back into this sketch with this profile and make sure 3D sketch is on. Going to include 3D geometry of this point back here. And then I need to create a spline. You can use any kind of spline, doesn't matter. I'm going to create that point on that sketch profile and then go to the end. This is what we'll end up using to control uh, that hard line, this red line right here. Grab this point and move it up. And we won't mess with it too much. We just need it to exist. So OP said that loft didn't work. And let me show you what happens if we uh, do end up using loft. So if we end up lofting from this point to this point, and we chuck some some guide rails on, it gets a uh, it gets a little weird. Um, if we're being honest. And when we select all of those, and we will add a uh, join, it looks all right um, from the outside. However, when you chuck section analysis on it, um, you can see that there's some space in here. So my solution to that was to just drop into surface workspace, and we're going to delete these two faces. So now we just have, uh, you know, a surface non-solid. Let's turn this sketch back on and let's create a few patches. Make sure enable chaining is off and we will select these guys to create that first top face. Select these three to create this other face. And then select this face. We can turn that sketch off and this face came in uh, upside down. So under modify there should be uh, reverse normal. And we can just click on that face and hit OK. Now we have that same, you know, silver default appearance, and we're just left with four um, patches. We can grab the stitch command and just select all of them, uh, and then we should get a bunch of green lines. Operation to a new body, and then just hit OK. Now we should have a solid body, and if we chuck section analysis on this guy, um, we should have a uh, solid all the way through. And then, of course, since uh, we are parametric, we can go back to this sketch, you know, grab this guy. Maybe we want to move that up um, quite a bit for some reason and over. Hit OK. Finish sketch. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring that back to something a little more, a little more tame. All right. I hope that does it. Um, there's always a bunch of different solutions to the same problem in Fusion 360. This is just the way that I decided to tackle it after running into that issue with Loft. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.